collected a mailbag of papers, each one bearing her name. She was a woman on a mission, and she was going to put James E. to shame. I don't know if she got on a broomstick. She wasn't the woman that ran. Ten minutes later, she's back in the school, confronting James E. McCann. There's the book for the telly. There's the bill for the sale of the cow. The electric bill, the phone bill. Do you think do you know me now? There's a picture of your communion. It was took by your Uncle Tom. See, there's you taking a pound off me. Now you don't know who I am. For an hour, she took out papers. In explaining each one she put down, James E. was more than embarrassed, and a crowd had gathered around. While the sweat was lashing off him, she knew she had him by the throat. He looked at the crowd and the papers and said, Yes, Bridget, you can vote. <laughs> she drew herself up as tall as she could, which was almost five foot one. Then, gather up those papers for me, young man. I'll collect them when I'm done. She lifted the mailbag of papers, saying, Remember what you put me through. You'll know me the next time you see me, but I never again will know you. <laughs>